back to the channel. Um, last video I gave you an update of what I was going to do. So, change the head, gasket, timing set. Um, the link for my last video, I, uh, the kit I bought has O-rings in it for the water pump. You will need that when you go to switch them over. <clears throat> the harmonic balancer on the base model, it come right off, which is awesome. But let me get you off the stand here and show you everything I switched over. Okay. So, this engine is the S engine. That is my regular engine. So, I had to switch the dipstick over. As you can see, that dipstick is like a big S in it. This dipstick is basically straight up and down. Uh, I had to put my alternator and my water pump because if you look on this one, this plate is where my water pump goes. This little flange is the S because the S water pump sits right here and it has a gear sticking this way and then a supercharger bolts against it. Um, I switched over my knock sensor just in case. Um, I had to change over my, here's that T fitting I was telling you guys about. This is my little flutter housing. This is the one that was on it with this weird cooler on it. So I took it off, I put mine on. Um, so my harmonic balance, the base model's harmonic balancer, my, I had a new tensioner kit on it. The alternator, the wires run under here, bolt here and here. With this engine, with the oil cooler on it, I couldn't bolt it there, so it must be different because this engine didn't come with the alternator from the ass. This is my train or my upper motor mount bracket, so it's bolted on. Um, this is my valve cover. And then I'll show you this. This housing, this thing, is from this engine, my base engine. The one for the S doesn't have his fill neck up here. It's over elsewhere because of the way that everything bolts on right here. But, yep, I left the this sensor on. This is just the water temp sensor, which is nothing. These S engines have a, if you look at the center, watch. It's a two-piece flywheel and there's rubber in here. This is the base model and there's it's a solid so there's that's interesting these bolts that hold your clutch on are bigger these are little guys yeah, you see the all the bigger the hole is this thing just look it's not even close so everything's just a little bit bigger on the S engine um so I need to get both these engines in the air now. I need my oil pan off of this because that's my oil return bung. And then once I do that, this engine can get slid back into the corner. And then this guy can start getting like the AC pump, starter bolted back up, uh, the coil packs and stuff can get bolted back on it. The turbo can get bolted back on it. Um, I, got, I got a new S clutch. The bolt on this for the six-speed transmission which I have back behind the car um, I got new axles for the six-speed oh I got to do the shifter linkage I got to take this assembly out of mine because I have the six-speed ones that will come up through here I got to do that before I put the engine in um, yeah that should be it I'd say another Another good day, I should have my car put back together, hopefully. But thank you guys for watching my videos and see this uh, interesting escapade I've been going through. But Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.